John Force is one of the most heralded drag racers in the sport. He's a 15-time funny car champion, and we recently went to his museum in Yorba Linda, where he showed us some of the cars that he's driven in, and he talked about what it's like to drive a car with such force. This funny car runs down a racetrack at over 300 miles an hour in almost four seconds. From a standing stop to 320 miles an hour in four seconds. It makes 8,000 horsepower. That's more horsepower than the whole front row at a NASCAR race. What you have to do is, there are no gears in this thing. You, you have to slip away horsepower. There's no way you can put 8,000 horsepower to the ground right on the starting line. When you're driving out there with that G-force, these cars make four to five Gs, like the space shuttle. Sometimes you can't hardly see, it's rattling and shaking. So what you do is you manage how much horsepower you slip away till eventually you lock it up, hopefully before the eighth mile. And that is the trick to, to this whole game. And it'll burn 15 gallons of nitromethane in, in, the, in a minute and a half on the racetrack during the burnout, during the run. You know, when you're a kid and you grow up in that atmosphere, it becomes very normal to you. And, you know, for other kids or even adults to think that we grew up at the drag races, that seems very crazy, but that's all we ever knew. So it was very, you know, life was very normal to us. Our dad raced, he crashed sometimes, he caught fire. As weird as that sounds, it was very, um, it was just, oh, that's just what he does on the weekends. But I've been on fire from here to Australia. Okay, I've been in burn centers around America. I've been in head trauma centers. I've done it all. Uh, if I had to count them, trust me, I don't have enough fingers and toes to carry my championship rings. So at the end of the day, um, I can't give you a number. And sometimes things happen that's a part of our sport, but more often than not, you are safe in these race cars. But when you hit that throttle, that car is either going to leave that start line, it'll hike the front end of the front tires off the ground a little bit, It'll transfer the weight to the rear tires, the big Goodyear slicks in the back. The wheelie bar on the back will do its job by touching the ground, keeping the balance of the car. And if it isn't, it could blow the tires off, which would cause the motor to rev up, and if the driver doesn't catch it, it can explode. They say the drivers only work for four or five seconds, or maybe five, six minutes over the course of a year. But all of that's rolled into one ball. And at the end of the day, if you win, you're the champ, and if you don't win, you're just one of the guys trying to be the champ. 